In question number 8, we did in the previous part of this exercise 4.4 these steps. Now the in, in the remaining steps after the equation 3, just put x, 1 minus x equals to 0, that will give x is equals to 1, put in equation number 2, we will get a is equals to 1 over 3. Now comparing the coefficients of, since we cannot get the x value out of this, if we put it equals to 0, x square plus x plus 1 is equals to 0, this will not give us defined answer. So just now don't put this thing equals to 0 and get the value of x, just compare the coefficients. So comparing the coefficients of x square in equation 3, we will get, do we have no x square coefficient here, so just write 0 here. Then coefficient of x square is a, coefficient of this x square is minus b, so we will get 0 is equals to a minus b. Put the value of a here and rearrange the equation, we will get b is equals to 1 over 3. Now comparing the constant terms. Here we have a constant term 1, so write 1 here. Constant term in this bracket is 1, so 1 into a will be a. And the con we don't have a constant term here, but we have a constant term here that is plus c. So write 1 is equals to a plus c. Put the value of a here, rearrange the terms, move it on the left, we'll get c is equals to 1 minus 1 over 3. That will give c is equals to 2 over 3. Now using the values of a, b, c and d into the equation 1, value of a, b and c in equation 1, we will get 1 over 1 minus x cube equal, in place of a, we put the value of a that is 1 over 3, 1 minus x plus, we have here b, x plus c, so just replace this thing with b value and this with c value, we will get 1 over 3x plus 2 over 3. Now by taking the LCM in the numerator, we will get x plus 2 over 3. This 3 can be moved down and it can be written as x plus 2 over 3 into x square plus x plus 1. Now integrating both sides, just divide the integral into two parts towards these fractions. 1 over 3 is constant, take it outside, we will get integral 1 over 1 minus x dx plus 1 over 3, this 1 over 3 will be taken outside integration of x plus 2 over x square plus x plus 1. We know that derivative of 1 minus x is minus 1. We can make here minus sign by also writing minus here because minus minus will again give back us our plus sign. Now this integration of minus 1 over 1 minus x will give us ln 1 minus x. Now here we have to make the derivative of this denominator in the numerator. First of all we have to make the first term derivative that will be 2x so just multiply this numerator with 2 and divide it with 2 as well. We'll get 2x plus 4. This 2, 3 is a 1 over 6. Now, take the derivative of this complete term. We'll get 2x plus 1. We need 2x plus 1 in the numerator. So just break 4 into 1 plus 3. Now consider this one as a separate and this one as a separate function. And divide the denominator separately towards these numerators. We'll get integration 1 over, 1 over 6 integration 2x plus 1 divided by this whole denominator plus 1 over 6 3 over this whole denominator dx. Now since this numerator is a derivative denominator it will become ln of that denominator. Now this 3 is taken outside like this. Now completing square we, we have no formula here for the integration so I am completing the square of this denominator. How? I have x square term, I have a here x square plus x plus 1. I can write it like x whole square. Now, we know that in complete square formulas, we need 2 here. Now, the first term is written as it is. Now, I need to write some value, numeric value here, so that after multiplication, I can get back this x. For that, I am writing 1 by 2. Because if 2 and 2 will be cancelled, I will get back this x. Now, this is our second value, the square. That is, add 1 over 2 whole square and then subtract 1 over 2 whole square as well and this plus 1 as it is. Now, first three things can be written as x plus 1 over 2 whole square. After simplifying last two terms, I will get here 3 by 4. This can be written as x plus 1 over 2 whole square plus it can be written as under root 3 over 2 whole square. So, if I just open this square, I will get back this term. So I have written this whole thing here in the denominator. We know that we have the integration formula of 1 over x square plus a square dx. This integration formula is 1 over a. This is our a. 
tangent inverse x this whole is our x x over a this a now x plus 1 over 2 can be written as 2x plus 1 over 2 this 2 and this 2 will be cancelled out and will get 2x plus 1 over under root 3 this under root 3 by 2 if we divide it with 1 will get its opposite reciprocal that is 2 over under root 3 and after simplification with this term we'll get 1 over under root 3 and this is our answer of question number 8 Question number 9, integrate x square plus 1 over x cube plus 1. It has the same partial fraction as the previous one, but in that we were having 1 minus x cube, minus sign here, but we have here plus sign here. So we will use this formula, x cube plus y cube, that is equals to x plus y into x square minus xy plus y square. So we will just open it like this and separate it into the partial fractions and it will be a over x plus 1 plus bx plus c over x square minus x plus 1. Multiplying both sides by this whole denominator, everything that is cancelled, just cancel those terms and the remaining terms write with the coefficients a and bx plus c. This is equation number 2. Now open this, simplify it, just multiply bx with this like this and c with this term will get plus c into x plus 1 like this. Now let x plus 1 equals to 0, we'll get x is equals to minus 1, put in equation number 2. x plus 1 terms goes to 0, so we'll get just this term and replace every x value with minus 1. Simplify the terms, we'll get a equals to 2 over 3. Now compare the coefficients of x square in equation 3. Here the coefficient of x square is 1, so write 1 here. Coefficient of x square is a, so write a, plus coefficient of x square here is plus b. Then put the value of a here. After simplification, we will get the b value that is 1 over 3. Now comparing the constant terms from equation number 3, constant term on the left hand side is 1, constant term on right hand side is plus a, constant term in this have we have no constant term here and the constant term here is plus c so we'll get 1 is equals to a plus c put the value of a here that is 2 over 3 so we'll get the c value that is 1 over 3 now replace equation 1 with a b and c value we'll get this equation after simplifying this numerator we'll get x plus 1 over 3 this 3 can be moved in the denominator so we'll get x plus 1 over 3 into this denominator. Now integrating both sides and take the constant terms out of the integration sign. We know that integration of 1 over x plus 1 is ln x plus 1. Now move on to this side. We know its integration very well. We just have to make its derivative in the numerator. So multiply it with 2 and divide with 2 as well. So if I divide it with 2, I will get 1 over 6 here. So now I need the derivative of whole denominator that is 2x minus 1. So I need minus 1 here. So I'm just writing minus 1 plus 1 in between this two functions. I will get 2x minus 1. Now plus 1 and plus 2 will be separately written as 3 divided by this whole denominator and 2x minus 1 with this whole denominator. Since this numerator is a derivative of denominator, so it can be written as ln that denominator. Now again complete by completing square here, we'll get this thing that I have already discussed it in the question number 8. So this is a formula of 1 over a tangent inverse x over a. This whole thing is x and this whole thing is a. It has the integration 1 over a tangent inverse x over a. After simplification, we'll get this answer of question number 9. Question number 10. Integrate 1 over x minus 1, x square plus 4. That will be separated as a over x minus We know that we cannot just simplify this or we cannot factorize this term. So after writing a over x minus 1, I will write bx plus c divided by x square plus 4. Mark it as equation number 1. Multiplying both sides with this whole denominator after cancelling, I will get 1 is equals to a into x square plus 4 plus bx plus c into x minus 1. Now open this term, multiply bx with this bracket and then c with this bracket like this. I will get equation number 3. Now let x minus 1 equals to 0. This implies put x is equals to 1 in equation number 2. 
some terms will get to 0 and we will left with 1 is equals to a into 1 here x is 1 so 1 square will give us 1 plus 4 so we'll get a is equals to 1 by 5. Now comparing the coefficients of x square we have no coefficient of x square here because we don't have x square term here so I will get 0 coefficient of x square here is a and plus b so get 0 is equals to a plus b put the value of a here and move it on the left side we'll get b is equals to minus 1 over 5. Now comparing the constant terms from equation number 3 we have constant here on the left hand side that is 1 so write 1 here constant term here is 4 into a 4a and constant term here is minus c put the value of a here simplify the terms move the terms to the left hand side after simplification get c is equals to minus 1 over 5 now put the values of a b and c in equation number 1 we will get this equation the above numerator can be simplified as minus x minus 1 over 5 that can be written as minus common and x plus 1 divided by 5 5 will be moved in the denominator here so it will be minus 1 over 5 x plus 1 over x square plus 1 and uh, after the applying the integration formula here this thing will be simplified as ln x minus 1 minus 1 over 5 separate it now x we can separate this denominator towards x and towards 1. So, we'll get x over x square plus 4 and 1 over x square plus 4 separately and write the coefficient with them as well. We know that derivative of x square plus 4 is 2x. So, just multiply it with 2 and divide with 2. That division 2 will, multi after multiplying with 5, I'll get 1 over 10 here. This is the integration formula of ln x square plus 4 because we have the numerator as a derivative of denominator here. Now we know that this is the formula for tangent inverse of x that is integration of 1 over x square plus a square is 1 over a tangent inverse x over a. a here is 2. After, after simplifying the terms I will get in my answer 1 over 5 ln x minus 1 minus 1 over 10 ln x square plus 4 minus 1 over 10 tangent inverse x by 2 plus c. Question number 11. In question number 11, we have to integrate 2x square minus 3x minus 3 divided by x minus 1 into x square minus 2x plus 5. Now, this is a simplified form. We cannot further factorize this term. If, if we have some factorization of this function, we can factorize it. Then we should factorize it. But here we don't have its factorization. So, just keep it as it is. It will be written as a over x minus 1 plus bx plus c over this term. Multiplying this whole denominator on both sides, I will get this equation 2. After simplifying, I will get equation number 3. Now, let x minus 1 equals to 0 and put x is equals to 1 in equation number 2. x minus 1 is 0, so this whole thing will become 0. And put in place of x one value here. So, after putting the values in equation number 2, I will get this a is equals to minus 1. Now, comparing the coefficients of x square from equation number 3, x square coefficient here is 2 a b so 2 is equals to a plus b i will get this put the value of a here simplify the terms i will get b is equals to 3 now comparing the constant terms from equation number 3 here in equation number 3 we have a constant term minus 3 on the left hand side this will be minus 3 here we have 5 into a 5 a and a constant term minus c Put the value of a after simplification we'll get the value of c that is equals to minus 2. Using the values of a, b, c in equation number 1 we'll get this, this equation. Using the integration on both sides we'll get the integration of 1 over x minus 1 is ln x minus 1. Now I need here only x because I have to make here 2x because we know that derivative of x square is 2x. For making 2x here, I need to just separate 3 out of this. So, taking 3 common from the numerator, I will get x minus 2 over 3. Now, I, I have to multiply 2 here. So, just divide 2 and multiply with 2. So, I will get 2x and 2 into 2 will become here 4 by 3. Denominator as this. Now, I need the next thing that is minus 2 here because the derivative of this whole thing is 2x minus 2. So, just subtract 2 and add 2 as well. Now, I will combine this thing, the first 2 and the last 2. 
first two will be separately written as plus 3 by 2 this thing plus 3 by 2 2x minus 2 divided by this denominator then then plus 3 by 2 as it is 2 minus 4 over 3 this my 2 minus 4 over 3 with this denominator as it is now we know that this numerator is a derivative of denominator so ln that denominator now 2 minus 4 over 3 will give us 2 over 3 so move it outside like this and the rest of the thing will be written as it is now this denominator can be simplified by completing square method so after completing square method i will get this and we know that how we need how com we complete square x square minus 2x plus 5 just complete x square minus 2 into x now this will be written 1 here because after multiplication i will get back this 2x now i need 1 square so i also subtract it and write plus 5 as it is first three things will give us x minus 1 whole square and the last two things will give us 4 and this 4 can be written as 2 whole square so write this thing in the denominator we know that 1 over x square plus a square is the formula of 1 over a tangent inverse x over a a is 2 here so x is x minus 1 over this 2 so this is the answer of our question number 11